Hey, it's David Elder, and today on Texas Eats, we're traveling around the Lone Star State looking for great restaurants you won't want to miss. Getting ready for smoky rib tips at a Midwest style barbecue joint in shirts. Oh, this is it, y'all. This is, this is fun. Plus, we're going to Southtown for some modern Texas inspired cuisine. New Zealand lamb on a barley wild rice risotto. Perfect for the season. Okay, are we going in? And we're going inside an all day brunch spot serving up decadent pastries and savory plates. All that and more right now on Texas Eats. Our first stop on today's foodie adventure is at a southern food joint with an insane meatloaf grilled cheese. Now we're here on the northeast side of San Antonio to go inside of a restaurant that's serving up some southern and soul food classics, plus some wild items you gotta see to believe. Let's go inside Mr. AOK's. Joining me now is Cindy Harris. She's one of the co-owners out here at the restaurant. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you for coming. Now, this restaurant is serving up all kinds of southern delicious goodness. We got it all on the table right here. I mean, cornbread, you got desserts, the fried chicken, and some items I haven't seen before. But where are all these recipes? Where are they coming from? Well, basically, my husband, he loves to cook, so he's just in his mind. <laughs> He's the chef. Yes. Nice. Some of the items on the menu over here, they actually have an Asian influence to them, and that's actually from your background, right? Yes, I'm half Korean. Soul rolls. Yes. What is inside of a soul roll? You're going to get the collard greens, the mac and cheese, and meatloaf, all wrapped in an egg roll wrap and a side of brown gravy. We call this liquid gold here. <laughs> <laughs> We're just, I'm going for it. What the heck? This is absolutely incredible. I love the mac and cheese in there. It's so gooey. The collard greens have a really nice flavor to them as well. The, the meatloaf, that just seals the deal. It's nice and salty. It has a good little flavor in there as well. You can tell it's seasoned perfectly. And then the crispy exterior is a nice vehicle for all the flavors. You mix it all together. You take that bite, you dip it in the gravy. It is liquid gold. Mm -hmm. That is good. Look at you going for round two. I like that. <laughs> Now we're moving on to something else I've never seen before in all my days of traveling around looking at southern restaurants. This is the Mr. A-OK -okay sandwich. Now what is inside of this sandwich? You're going to get your chicken fried steak, your pork chops, fried cheese. You see oh. that fried cheese right oh, there? Yeah. And then there's a scoop of mashed potatoes <sighs> and then um, that lettuce tomatoes with the secret sauce right there. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> Give good. us the elbow. Mm. It's good. I want to really get in there, but man. You got to look good for TV, yeah, right? Yeah, <laughs> I want to get messy. I absolutely love this bite. This is so good. And you know my favorite part is the toasted bread. This is so buttery and it's so tasty. It's the exact amount of saltiness you want and it has a bunch of flavor. I really want to eat this whole sandwich right now. Now this one right here in the middle, fried ribs. Come on. Yes. It's just what it is, right? Yes. It's a fried rib. Deep, deep fried rib. Okay, grab one with me here. Oh, wow. It's super tender, crunchy on the outside. You're putting that, like that chicken, bre the chicken fried breading on the outside. That is nuts. Cindy is half Asian, so there's some items on the menu that actually have Asian influence on them, and this is one of them. These are called Asian ribs. They just fall off the bone. I'm gonna give it a bite here. Oh, super tender, nice and hot. You got all that sticky sauce on there as well. If you love sweet Asian sauces, this is definitely the rib you have to try. This is incredible. Fried chicken. Mm -hmm. What makes your fried chicken special? A homemade fried chicken. Like if your <laughs> grandma would fry that chicken at home, you know? Here's a question. Do you like the legs or do you like the breasts? I like the skin. Oh, <laughs> give me it a piece matter. of chicken. Yeah, it, it don't matter. It doesn't matter. It's good. I'm in a happy place right now. <laughs> this is phenomenal. Flavored down to the bone, super crispy on the outside, very messy. That's how you want it. If you're not going to get messy with your fried chicken, what are you going to get messy with? They actually have like different little secret sandwiches you got to ask about, and this is one of them. Right here we have meatloaf cheese, mac and cheese on the grilled cheese sandwich. 
This thing is over the top gravy on the side. When you think of like over the top food, this is, look at that thing is still just bubbling. It's gooey, it's ooey. That's the bite. <laughs> if you're looking for the next insane sandwich bite you have to try, this is possibly the best grilled cheese I've ever had. This is so good. Mr. A-OK, -okay, where did that name come from? Mr. A-OK -okay is my dad. Um, that's his nickname. He, his name was Alvis Kirk. He was in the military for 26 years. He passed away in 2011, but he always wanted to open up a restaurant with my mom. This restaurant is so fun. It's so special. Grab a piece of cake with me here. Okay. As Mr. A-OK -okay is over here off Walsham, this is a fantastic place to come try. They got a little bit of Southern food, a little bit of Asian influence on it as well, but all of it is rocking. I'm going in for the cake. Come on! Now, we're cruising to the west side for some birria tacos and tortas. Let's go inside Tacos and Chelas. Joining me now is Oscar Camona. He's the owner out here at the restaurant. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you, David. Now, everything in front of us looks amazing. It smelled amazing when you were cooking it as well. But what got you started cooking? Uh, it is the passion, you know, that brings us together. Um, I always wanted to open a restaurant with my dad, so it's a dream come true. I can tell. You have a passion for it because this stuff looks amazing. Now, this torta right here is huge. What goes inside of it? Uh, there's uh, panela cheese. It, got, it has uh, ham, diced sirloin, uh, along with al pastor, real pico de gallo, and we put masada fries on the side to it just to bring it together. So. Cheers. There we uh, go. Buddy. That's the bite. Oh, wow. That is incredible. The tortas out here at Tacos and Chela's are massive. This one out here that we're trying has ham, cheese, asada, guacamole, lettuce, and the bread is toasted to perfection. It also has the asada fries on the side. I think the bread is what makes the torta a great torta. This is what you want to try. There's so much going on here. Media tacos and uh, the Casey tacos, I mean, so popular. You guys have them right here on the menu. Well, what inspired you to add this to what you're doing out here? You know, we are, we are from Southern Mexico. Our Southern Mexican seasoning, our style is different. Uh, we wanted to bring it to San Antonio, you know, along with some of the first uh, other people that brought it to San Antonio. I'm gonna grab one of these Casey tacos over here. All right. You gotta dunk it right into the consomme. Oh, and look at that. You even got the chunks of meat floating around in there. All right, cheers. All right, buddy, Media tacos. Media is super popular, and when you come out here to Tacos and Chelas, you can get it in different kinds of preparations. We got it in little taquitos, little street tacos, plus the Casey tacos. Now the consomme out here is phenomenal. I mean, it's nice and savory, it's unctuous, it's salty. You dip everything in there, it just takes it to the next level. You put some of the lime on there, it's really gonna increase the brightness, the acidity, and the flavor on each one of these tacos. But I gotta say, taquitos are the way to go. The meat is so tender. How long do y'all cook the meat? You know, David, we don't chop our meat. Um, we just let it cook for five hours. My dad, is the he has the secret recipe to it. But like I said, we don't chop it. Uh, some other places they chop it, we just like to bring it in, let it fall apart, and it's ready at that point. So about five hours. Now these ones right here, the salad fries, you had them over here with the torta. This is like a whole plate though that you can order by itself. The yeah, salad fries, it's more like you know, an appetizer. It's a diced sirloin, Monterey Jack cheese, a little bit of uh, cilantro, onions on top of it, our grilled pico de gallo, and just go ahead and dig in. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> cheers. cheers. Again. Super tender meat. The potatoes, the fries, they're cooked perfectly, so they're they got, they're really tender on the inside. They got a nice little crunch on the outside. The pico de gallo you put on top, you actually put it on the flat top for a little bit. You're kind of cooking it off a little bit before you put it on. It is, a lot of our food has the grilled pico de gallo. Our grilled pico de gallo, it's a little bit different. It, it has the vinegar to it, so it, it, it enhances a lot of the flavors that we use. And this one at the end here is like, it looks loaded. You got like a jalapeno popper on there. <laughs> What's inside I of that did. One? So there is a little bit of, 
you know, a bottom of guacamole, bring it fresh, uh, corn tortilla, that grill pico de gallo again, and then just that jalapeno popper. I'm gonna challenge you to go ahead and take a bite. You want bite. me to take a bite out of that one? I, I really do. You guys, tacos and chelas, it's delicious. You're gonna find something on the menu that you enjoy. I mean, you even have some seafood dishes, ceviche on the menu as well. The beers when you come out here, I mean, look how big. This is no joke. Y'all are playing around with the micheladas, and I'm gonna try this taco. What's the name of this one? That's our taco toreado. Taco toreado, I'm gonna take a bite. Oh, real good. Delicious. If you love birria, they have it out here as well. The tortas are massive, the asada fries, all different kinds of tacos. Cheers to you. Thank you so much for having us out here. Cheers. Thank you, David. Mm. Oh, baby, that's good. Coming up later on Texas Eats, get ready for smoky rib tips at a Midwest style barbecue joint in shirts. Oh, this is it, y'all. This is, this is fun. And next on the show, we're going to Southtown for some modern Texas-inspired cuisine. New Zealand lamb on a barley wild rice risotto. Perfect for the season. Okay, are we going in? So don't go anywhere. Texas Eats will be right back. Now we're here in Southtown in San Antonio to check out a restaurant that's serving up dishes inspired by Texas. Let's go inside Bar Loretta. Joining us now is Roger Hurry, the owner out here at Bar Loretta. Thank you so much for having us. Oh, uh, thanks for having me. In Southtown, I feel like it's having a big resurgence right now, and you guys have been open for a couple months now, and you're just elevating the menu scene in this area. I mean, look at the stuff in front of us. What's the inspiration behind the menu? I kind of look at Texas as a muse, as a uh, as a mother figure, as a as a giver. So things that come from the from the soil, from the Gulf and we embrace it, and then Chef Paul Peterson applies his technique to it. Put a little magic on it, right? Man, he cranked, these, he cranked these out today. These look incredible. And I want to start right here in the front. I mean, this looks like just such a wide variety of flavor going on. Love that Texas quail. A little quail egg on top and some uh, hot uh, honeyed onions. Absolutely delicious. Oh, you're just going. All right, hold on. Before, hold on. I'm actually going to go for that little egg, if you don't mind me. Ooh. This is really nice. This is a double cheeseburger. What's going on there? That's our, you know, that's just our, our double market burger. That's just a big boy. And what kind of ground beef are you using on the inside there? We're using some uh, good old Texas chuck. I have like five <laughs> burgers a week, so this is going to be all you. This is all me. I've had too many burgers. <laughs> Quality control yeah, out here, right? Yeah. Taking a bite. Oh, man. Bar Loretta has a little bit of something for everyone, and the Market Burger is a great example of that. Ground Texas chuck on the inside, toasted bread, lettuce, tomatoes, onions, but the sauce is where it's at. That's the secret part. But I love that there's a little bit of something out here that everyone can enjoy. It's done right, but it's no fuss. It's just a straightforward, good old cheeseburger bite. I mean, this is an elevated dish right here. This is a lamb, but it's not just your standard lamb, right? No, it's uh, absolutely delicious. Nice cut of uh, New Zealand lamb on a barley wild rice risotto. Perfect for the season. Okay, are we going in? We're going in. All right. Let's do it. I mean, cuts like butter. A gorgeous medium rare finish on there is exactly what you want. There we go. Herb crusted lamb is so good and it's sourced from New Zealand and then on the bottom it comes on a bed of risotto. Now this risotto has a little bit of mint leaves in there, chardonnay, raisins, and it's just really flavorful, it's bold, but then that lamb comes out medium rare, the way it should be, it's just juicy, tender, and delicious. I'm in heaven right now, this is great stuff. <laughs> Appreciate that. This is my uh, green onion polenta mm. with Texas wild brushrooms, 
and Texas goat cheese. Texas wild mushrooms, Texas mm -hmm. goat cheese, polenta. Oh wow. That goat cheese is money. Wow. The griddled green onion polenta cake has so much flavor in there, but the inside of the polenta cake is actually nice and tender. Outside's a little bit crunchy. And then you have the mushrooms that are seasonal on the outside as well, and they rotate it throughout the year. So you're gonna get different mushrooms at different times. Plus the goat cheese on there as well. You get a little bit of all of that together, and it's such a good bite. Oh man. The chicken liver is absolutely delicious. Chicken liver. Yeah. And I, I, so I say that this is the first liver that we've had on the show. It's, so you've, you're it's terrific. I mean, groundbreaking. This, this, uh, this surprises a lot of people. All right, we get some extra oh, sauce yeah. on there. Oh, yeah. Check it out. Oh, wow. The pan roasted chicken liver gratin is so good. On the outside, it's lightly crunchy, but on the inside, super tender, melt in your mouth goodness. On the bottom, you have that little piece of bread, right? It's absorbing all the sauce that's in there as well. It's slightly earthy, it's salty, it's savory, and it's just delicious. Especially if you've never tried liver before, this is what you need to try. You have a, a wonderful bar right behind us. Cocktails Absolutely. being crafted right there as well. Open till 2 a.m. Bar Loretta. I mean, Roger, thank you so much for having us out here and for being a part of the San Antonio community. Coming up later on Texas Eats, get ready for smoky rib tips at a Midwest style barbecue joint in shirts. Oh, this is it, y'all. This is, this is fun. And next on the show, we head to Austin to go inside a Texas monthly top 50 barbecue joint that's slanging out some serious Tex-Mex barbecue. There was always barbecue around my uncle, my dad, and you have my mom and grandmothers and aunts making flour tortillas and sides inside, you know? So don't go anywhere. Texas Eats will be right back. Get ready for all you can eat barbecue, loaded baked potatoes, dino beef ribs, and loaded brisket nachos only at Texas D. Willie Smokehouse. Get all you can eat Texas barbecue for $26.99 per person, plus D. Willie's popular side items. Get giant dino beef ribs, all you can eat barbecue, loaded baked potatoes, and loaded brisket nachos only here at Texas D. Willie Smokehouse, plus all the sides and delicious tea. Cheers. That was good stuff. Welcome back to Texas Eats. Now we're in Austin to go inside the top 50 Texas monthly barbecue joint, Valentina's Barbecue. Owner and pitmaster Miguel Vidal is a culinary craftsman. There's a sense of family that Miguel brings to this restaurant, to the crew here. Valentina's Barbecue, named after Miguel's middle child, fuses Mexican cuisine and Texas barbecue culture. It's a Texas original. You know, there's only one Valentina's. I've been eating at Valentina's for over 15 years. Love the smoke that comes off of the barbecue. And in the Vidal household, family, food, and culture are everything. Some of my best memories growing up are around my family. Every family gets together, we have an excuse for a birthday party, a quinceanera, or just the weekend off, you know? There was always barbecue around my uncle, my dad, and you have my mom and grandmothers and aunts making flour tortillas and sides inside, you know? One of the most popular items on the menu is their massive breakfast taco, the Real Deal Holyfield. That's inspired by my father. His uh, favorite breakfast dish is huevos rancheros. So when we first opened up, before we were even doing breakfast, he had asked me to make him huevos rancheros. So I decided to make him a version of huevos rancheros. So pressed a big tortilla, refried beans, potatoes, bacon, fried egg, but I added a fat slice of brisket on it. I got the brisket taco. You can just smell the wonderful brisket in the air. It's delicious. To get more information and find out how you can get your hands on this phenomenal barbecue, just follow Valentina's Barbecue on social media. Coming up later on Texas Eats, we're going inside an all-day brunch spot serving up decadent pastries and savory plates. 
And next on the show, get ready for smoky rib tips at a Midwest style barbecue joint in shirts. Oh, this is it, y'all. This is, this is fun. So don't go anywhere. Texas Eats will be right back. into Circle K to grab a snack, where if you come out here and buy a slice any day of the week at normal price, you get the second slice for only $1. Plus, you come out on a Friday, you can save almost $2 on a whole pizza. You can get it for $5. That's insane. Six slices of pizza, and you could choose ultimate meat, pepperoni. When you're grabbing your $5 pizza on Fridays, don't forget to grab a Froster. Mix and match any of your favorite flavors to make the ultimate icy drink. Buy one slice regular price, get a second slice for only a dollar any day of the week. We can see all the cheese bubbling up, pepperoni on top. You can also go for a three meat option. Stay cool this summer with an ice cold froster and grab your $5 pizza every Friday. While I'm exploring restaurants around the Lone Star State, there's only one way to tell people how good the food really is. Shiner. Shiner, the official beer of Texas Eats. Texas Eats. Now we're here in shirts right outside San Antonio to go inside of a barbecue joint that's not serving up your average Texas barbecue. This is Midwest barbecue and we're here at the Purple Pig. Let's go inside. Joining me now is Dimitri DeHaran. He is the co-owner and pit master out here at the restaurant. Thank you so much for having us. Hey, thanks for coming out. Now, we've been out here before when it was a food truck. And you guys are just killing it out there. I love the food that you were doing. Some really great items on the menu. But now you have the brick and mortar. What was the inspiration to move into a building? Food trucks were getting kind of daunting, you know, in and out, you know, dealing with repairs, things like that, breakdowns. And, you know, it was seemed like more feasible for us to, you know, just open a restaurant and see how it goes. Jump into the brick and mortar game, yeah, right? Man. Yeah. And I bet you this community is so excited here in Shirts because this barbecue it's not your typical Texas barbecue, right? Well, we like to call our uh, barbecue uh, Midwest style barbecue. Um, both me and my wife, we're from the Midwest. Uh, and I was introduced a long time ago uh, from my grand uncle of uh, uh, barbecue. And uh, so once we retired from the military, we just kept on going with it. Rich, thank you for your service. Thanks. Now in these cups right here, you're talking about Midwest barbecue. This is like Midwest barbecue in a cup. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and you call them the parfaits, right? It's like your barbecue parfait. What is all inside the cup here? So from the bottom bottom to the top is baked beans, baked macaroni and cheese, pulled pork, barbecue sauce, topped with potato salad. This has to be like the most popular item you got. Yeah, it make. is. Yeah, I it bet. Is. And I want to get a little bit of everything yeah, in there. Yeah, that's the point. Oh, look, you're going straight barbecue one. I like it. Yeah. That's the bite. That was incredible. Give me some love. Come on. If you've never tried Midwest barbecue before, I highly recommend getting the barbecue parfait. It's got a little bit of everything going on inside. It's got the barbecue sauce, the pulled pork, the potato salad, the mac and cheese, and the beans. You mix that all together, it is an incredible experience. Oh, this is it, y'all. This is, this is fun. Smoked turkey leg. Yeah. You got those on the menu like full time, right? Full time, yeah. People were asking for them all the time, so we threw them on the menu and we've had them on this ever since. I mean, it's, it's it, they're a little different. The baked mac and cheese, though, uh, that's actually like your wife's item, right? Yes, it is. All <laughs> the sides are hers. So. Oh, all the sides are hers. All there the you go. Yeah. That's a good combination. That's a good marriage of ideas, right? You take care of the meat, she handles the sides, you guys together make a great business. There you go. This is next level stuff. Now, any secrets you can add and tell us about this one? Uh, if I told you, my wife would kill. <laughs> That's the mac and cheese. Here we go. She already knows. She's hiding back there in the kitchen. She knows what's up. Nice and creamy, crunchy on the top. I mean, it's just comfort food. All of this. Food. 
Now, you also have the big dino beef rib. Yeah. Now, this is like a select item, though, that you only have like for a limited time on certain weekends, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we use pecan wood versus oak or mesquite, so it's a different, a different taste to it. Okay, I'm gonna go for a bite. I'm gonna try it out here. This is a dino rib. You gotta call ahead. You gotta look on social media when they got it. Good. I love the bark on the outside you got going on. But this is one of the most tender dino ribs I've ever had. Absolutely incredible. That just melts in your mouth. Man. You actually have rib tips that are really unique. You don't see those everywhere. Oh, yeah. Talk to me about the oh, process yeah. of making those. We put our, our rub on them and we throw them on our pit and we smoke those for about, we smoke those for maybe about four hours mm -hmm. and they just get tender. Oh yeah. Tender. Here, grab one with me. All right. All right. And then you have different sauces as well because Texas barbecue, a lot of people say, don't put sauce on it. This is Midwest barbecue. You want to add the sauce to it and you actually have different heat levels, right? Yes, we do. All right, which one is the hottest? Uh, the hot is right here. Okay, I'm gonna. The hot. <laughs> I'm going for it. I'm going for the sweet. You're going for the yeah. sweet. We make the hot, but we don't eat it. <laughs> That's just for crazy people, yeah. right? There you go. Yeah. The rib tips. Ooh. Ooh. Something you won't find at other barbecue spots here in Texas are the rib tips. And they're doing them out here, calling them piggy tips. And I'm telling you what, that four hours slow smoke with pecan wood, the rub on the outside, they just melt in your mouth. They're delicious. You get the sauces on the side. You can go sweet, mild, or hot. Either way, it's gonna be delicious. You guys, if you're looking for something different off the beaten path, not just your average Texas barbecue. Midwest barbecue is the way to go. Out here at the Purple Pig in shirts. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. Now, you gotta save room for dessert. Oh, definitely. Who's making the desserts out here? Oh, uh, that's my wife's too. Okay. Your wife's killing the game, dude. She's doing a good job. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is it, y'all. This is where you want to come for the holidays. Coming up later on Texas Eats, we're going inside an all-day brunch spot serving up decadent pastries and savory plates. And next on the show, we head to the Riverwalk to pair Shiner beers with solid bar bites. Come on. That's why that's our signature. Come on. Nobody doing that in San Antonio. Don't go anywhere. Texas Eats will be right back after the break. Welcome back to Texas Eats. Now we're here in San Antonio, Texas on a mission from Shiner to travel across the Lone Star State, getting great food and pairing it with ice cold beer. And that's why we're out here on the Riverwalk at Little Ryan Prost House, because we're gonna go inside, see what they got on the menu, drink some ice cold Shiner. Let's go check it out. Joining me now is the director of culinary out here at the restaurant, Justin Ward. Thank you so much for having us. It's great to be here. And right in front of us, we have all the hits that you're going to want when you come out to the Riverwalk because when you're walking around, you're going to get thirsty, you're going to get hungry. So why not get an ice cold shiner and some great bites? And Little Ryan Crow's house, how long has it been here? Uh, we've been here just over a year. Okay. The house itself has been here for over a century. That's incredible. This is an old, it's a historic landmark here in San Antonio. And then ever since you got it, you have been serving up great little bites like this. The one right here though, this is the killer, the big pretzel. And you have two different dipping sauces that come with it. Talk to me about those. We have a beer cheese in there and uh, that of course we do the shiner in that cheese as well. Fantastic. And then uh, and then our mussels, it's a Dusseldorf mustard. So it is ah. a import. Grab a little piece here. I'm gonna go for this one. And you guys are preparing them fresh to order. That's all correct. these pretzels, salted, put in the oven. I'm gonna dip in this beer cheese. Cheers. Prost. Cheers. Prost. <laughs> Two work together great, don't they? All right, grab a beer. Prost. Prost. And this is the Shiner Bach. And like you said, with the mustard, it's just kind of a, a really good accompaniment to it. Now, something you want to eat quickly, you don't want to leave it out too long, or one of these burgers right here. And you got fries on the side. These are like steak fries. These are the big ones. It's got everything on there. This is a great burger. It's our Meister burger. So this has the beef patty on there. It's got the bratwurst on there. It's got the black forest ham on there. It's got the Munster cheese on there. As if that's not enough, we take an egg and fry it over easy and put that on top of everything else. This is where it's at. You get the egg. 
and you can just pop it right over the top. Oh my goodness. The Meister Burger, cheers to you. Cheers. That's the bite. That's a good burger. Mm. Three, four napkins, easy. Easy, easy. <laughs> the fried egg on the Meister Burger is just over the top. You add some of the brat on there. It's like the bacon that you didn't know that you want to have on there. It's so good. You got the cheese. You also have the patty on there, the toasted buns. Some produce comes on the side. That's pickles, tomatoes, lettuce. Throw it all on there with the red onion. It is a great bite. All right, Papa Shiner Blonde. Roast. Roast. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, see, I do like the Shiner Blonde with it. Yeah. Well, because the burger's a little heavy, you mix it with your light beer, and it's gonna be a good pairing right there because you're not gonna feel like you're getting too full. This is really nice. Exactly right. You got two more bites out here. You got chicken wings. You have two different flavors out here, right? We have. We make our own. This is a Nashville hot chicken, and it's got a nice kick to it. Cheers. No sauce needed. That's the bite. Mm. Oh, baby. This is really good. The other wing over here, what do you got? So this one here, this is our Dr. Pepper barbecue. All right, cheers. Dr. Pepper barbecue. Dr. Pepper barbecue. That's the bite. Oh, <laughs> that one's really good. Oh Dark my God. Mm. The Nashville hot wings are my favorite. Great seasoning on there. It's all the spice that you want. A little bit of oil on there as well. You take the bite, crunchy on the outside, nice and tender and juicy on the inside. And that's because they're oven cooking them first, like a pre-cooked, and then they're finishing them off in the fryer to order. It is a great chicken wing. Now on to these Reuben egg rolls. It's a little homage to German food, right? It is. A little fusion, if you will, with yeah. the Chinese influence of the egg roll, but then we have the brisket inside, and then we take that idea of a Reuben sandwich and cram it inside the egg roll, wrap them up, fry them nice and crispy. I love this so much. All right, grab one with me. You guys, we're gonna do a Dunkin'? Yeah, we're gonna go in together. Three, two, one. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's a Tim Duncan right there. All right, cheers. Cheers. Mm. Come on. That's why that's our signature. Come on. Nobody's doing that in San Antonio. The Reuben egg rolls are so crunchy, loaded with flavor. It tastes just like what you want a Reuben sandwich to taste like. But then it has the fried elements on there as well. You dunk it into that Thousand Island dressing over the top. You're definitely gonna wanna order like two or three of these plates. Wash it down with the Tex Hex Shiner IPA. Little Ryan Prost House, Justin, thank you so much for having us out here. Everything is delicious. Thank you so much. You guys got some solid hits. You're walking on the Riverwalk. Just come cool down. They got misters out here, fans. They even got live music happening sometimes. Just check and see what's going on. They've got great games on the tables as well. Family friendly. Drink some beers and just relax. It's good stuff. Oh, wow. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Next on the show, we're going inside an all-day brunch spot serving up decadent pastries and savory plates. So don't go anywhere. Texas Eats will be right back. Now we're here on the north side of San Antonio to go inside of a restaurant that's now serving up lunch, brunch, and breakfast items exclusively, plus coffees and cocktails. Let's go inside Full Belly Cafe and Bar. Joining me now is executive chef and partner out here at the restaurant, James Moore. Thank you so much for having us. Hey there, it's great to see you. Welcome back. Thank you. Yeah, the last time we were out here, I mean, you had lunch, dinner, a little bit of everything going on, but now you're focusing solely on breakfast, lunch, and brunch. And we have some of the heavy hitters from the menu in front of us, including some cocktails, but you also have a new line of pastries out here as well, right? That's right. That's right. We have a super talented new pastry chef and baker, Misa Holmes, who's done some amazing baked goods for us. A sticky toffee pudding, which we have right here. This is a brown butter cinnamon roll, a blueberry streusel coffee cake, and this is a filled, decadent, gooey chocolate cake, as well as our most popular right here, the belly puffs. Sugary, buttery, layered, they're incredible. <laughs> Look at this thing. I mean, if you want some sweets, you guys have them covered out here. 
Muscles sure. and frites, such a classic combination. Yes. And you're doing it a little different out here, right? Starts off with shallots, garlic, some crushed red chilies, and instead of wine, we're doing a dry vermouth broth with it. Interesting. So we include a little bit of butter and a garlic and thyme cream reduction in it as well. We finish it with some fennel pollen here, and then our classic fries on top, drizzled with some of the house aioli right over the, to cap it off because everything, in my opinion, could benefit from a little bit of aioli as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> it looks so, like a candied lemon on yep, the side. Yep, so we, we char lemons. We'll sear those on oh a flat my top. Gosh. Cheers. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, man. The mussels and fries are so delicious. They're creamy with that aioli on top and they're super savory, and it's a fun amount of food on there, so if you want to share with your friends, you can do that as well. But if you're feeling extra hungry, you can definitely destroy this dish. Now we're gonna jump over here, barbacoa, very traditional dish, something very popular in San Antonio as well. Yep. And you're doing something a little fun with it right here, right? Yep, so we actually cooked this barbacoa similar to a bulgogi style. Ooh. So a Korean, kind mm -hmm. of a Korean barbecue in flavor. And then we take some of our fries again, but instead we're gonna throw on a bacon gravy. Oh. Underneath, as you can see, that started to melt are some white cheddar cheese curds. And then the star of the show is this barbacoa that we braised for about six hours. Look Cap it off with a couple of fried sunny up eggs. <laughs> so look at that! Look I, how creamy this. It just went straight through. Cheers. Salud. That's the bite. <laughs> the chimichurri with the eggs on top of the poutine just makes the whole dish delicious. The barbacoa is so tender, it just falls apart. You have the cheese curds in there that just melt in your mouth. Plus the fries on the bottom that are absorbing all that sauce. It is like the ultimate brunch bite. This one, very simple, straightforward. It is. It's biscuits and gravy, right? It is. So we've got a giant oversized buttermilk biscuit. The gravy is a little special though. We take a bunch of bacon, render it down, add more bacon fat to it. We add shaved brisket at the end. So this oh is a goodness. bacon and brisket gravy. Oh my goodness, look at that. The yolk is just falling right out. This is how you do it. The biscuits and gravy are so fun and delicious. You have that right amount of bacon flavor on there, but it's also the right size. It's just enough to fill you up, but you can also have another pastry, maybe a cocktail to go with it. But the egg on top is a must as well. You cut that open, you have the yolk running down the side. It is just a creamy, delicious brunch bite. We also have the cocktails, the coffees, hot chocolates, things like that, but the Maker's Mark, what's going on with that one? Uh, this is a very special bottle that we've got, a uh, private barrel select that we've oh. got in-house. We do an amazing old fashioned with it. You guys gotta come out here, enjoy the brunch and lunch out here now. Seven days a week. Seven days a week. I'm gonna go in for this front dish right here. You also have seafood on there. Yep, this is a fun dish that we've got. This is a crispy fried ruby trout. Thank you so much for having us out here. Thank you so much for being here. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh, mm. ooh. Texas Eats, we'll be right back. While I'm exploring restaurants around the Lone Star State, there's only one way to tell people how good the food really is. Shiny. Shiner, the official beer of Texas Eats. Thank you so much for watching today's episode of Texas Eats. And to get more information and a map on all the restaurants that we've been to on the show, just go to our website, ksat.com slash Texas Eats. And don't forget to follow us on social media at Texas Eats TV on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And don't forget to join us every Saturday at 10 o'clock in the morning right here on KSAT 12, because this is how Texas Eats.